Yo, we're back, people, once again with another video. Yeah, I'm feeling consistent. I'm feeling red. I'm feeling good as well. I'm out here again with that boy Wavy. He's shooting his intro over there. Um, so this time's quite different. Though. I'll be shooting gym content, but today's our rest day. So I'm gonna show you guys what a gym guy would be doing on a rest day and what I basically do on my rest days. Um, the plan is obviously we're heading down towards Birmingham now. We've got like an hour and a half left on our journey. We stopped off at this little service station. So we might grab something to eat. Um, something small, like, like a little snack or something. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys around what I do. Uh, we're going down to uh, that Wavy's crib in Berms. Um, obviously, there's a few things about that crib that I'm not really a fan of. Um, they've got a big XL bully, which I don't really like. However, the last time I saw the XL bully was when he was like three, four months old. And now this guy is like two years old, so I'm a bit scared after when I go there. I'm gonna see what he's saying. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys. I plan to also head out as well tonight. Hit up a little restaurant called Fumo. I ain't never been before in my life. Um, but let me guys show you, let me, let me show you guys a drip right now, yeah? This what I'm working with right now, right? Peep it. Got a Moncler on, Supreme tea, Supreme Bottoms. You know what I'm saying? I'm always in the Crocs, man. Wherever I'm going, I'm always stepping with Crocs. Listen, comfort over style, always. So obviously, I still come stylish, but comfort always comes first with me. Oh, that way, what's going on, man? I'm seeing two. I don't know, bro. I'm seeing two, <laughs> two Irish down next to us right there. They're saying that, you know, they're, they're trying to get back home to Ireland or Scotland or whatever. I don't know what they're saying, but they're asking us to basically give them some money for their petrol for something because they lost their they lost their passports and whatnot. Listen, this sounds all booky to me, man. I'll be real with you. Listen, I'm a nice guy. I'm here to help everyone when I can, but yeah, they're bugging, bro. They're bugging. Let me see what they're saying. Let me see what they're saying, though. A brother, yo, listen. I tried to help a brother out, but they just wanted to just scam. <laughs> look, listen, listen, people, people. <laughs> listen, look, I, ain't got, I ain't got nothing against Irish people and that, but bro, these lot are the most bookiest guys you can meet ever. So he transferred money to that boy Wave's account and he's telling us to cash it out. And obviously, we're thinking, cool, we don't mind doing that because if you're, if you're sending the money, we'll cash it out. But the payment didn't go through now. Obviously, it's gone through, but the money hasn't gone through to his account. Now he's saying, oh, we ain't got time. We've got to leave. We're rushing. Um, can you go cash it out now? And obviously, come on, man. We're not that dumb. That's the most oldest trick in the book. Like, well, like, listen, we're not going to move until the money's in that account, and then we'll cash it out. And then he's asking us. The other guys ask about normal conversation or what are you guys YouTubers? What do you guys do? Et cetera, et cetera. And I'm just thinking, nah, man. This guy, listen. One trying to play us, the other trying to, like, you know, keep us all happy and cushy. I ain't gonna happen around here, but and obviously that and then it was asking us we're like what are we doing that? And I was like, I just do YouTube, fitness and whatnot. So that way wavy six foot five big black guy. <laughs> What'd you do? He was like, I'm a boxer. <laughs> and when they heard the boxing thing, they were like, Oh I swear, what do you amateur box this time? He's like, nah, I'm just I'm just he's like I'm just a scrapper. <laughs> I said I don't mind a scrap. He's like, it? Really funny, but I don't mind a scrap, <laughs> innit? Like, it's, it's calm, that's you gotta stick it on them like that, you know what I mean? Yeah, listen, you, know what I'm you lot, yeah, they, they really Buki, Buki. Yeah. Um, but let's pull through now, I think, let's just roll through, get some munch or some snack, are you good? What do you think, food or not? Nah, Bounce, not, isn't not it? leaving the whip, bro. Yeah, not leaving yeah. the whip, innit? Yeah, let's not leave the whip, man. So it's, it's, <laughs> we've got too many valuable she in the whip, so I'll see you guys when we arrive in Birmingham, outside the crib. Peace. In the crib Z. Hendrik, Hendrik. Chill out, real man. You know why? You know why I don't the door, man. You already know why, real. Where's he at, though? Where's real at? I swear. Just around the crib. Big boys. Goliaths. Hendrik. All the guys, all the guys. Guys, I'm actually shitting bricks right now. I'm so scared to choke, but I'm playing cool. <laughs> Don't vlog, I'm fucking me up. I'm trying to, I'm trying to. Look, win. man's on, look, man's streaming. Come on, KG. KG! Yeah. 
KG. What's up guys, it's the next day. <sighs> so we left Birmingham. Um, last night was just a long night. So I didn't, we didn't actually end up going out to a restaurant. We stayed at home, just chilled with the dogs, spent time with uh, our friends. Now we're at a dedicated gym, or dedicated super gym, in Liverpool. So it's time to obviously get ready, eat up, get the session down. Hopefully, we can pull the 250, both of us as a deadlift. We'll see what happens. Um, but I'll see you guys inside, get uh, warmed up, have my food. I guess we just go from there, man. I'm tired, man, I'm so tired. Cold, but lit. But, no excuses, no excuses. Let's get it. Blah! Oh, look at this, though. <laughs> what? Nah. Are you not deep in this? Nah. Facts. Best gym I've been to. Best gym. Bro. This is hard. Colour so, screen's hard. I'm not sure if you guys can hear me because of the music and stuff. Um, this might even get copyrighted. Hopefully, it doesn't get copyrighted. But the gym here, yeah, it's a joke. Like, you feel like you're in. Like, America, like, it's a mad thing, like, it's a mad thing. Yeah, come here, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me go upstairs, get like a bird's eye view. But there's so many platforms here to squat, deadlift, bench. Bro, like, machine galore, machine galore. And I think, I think for me, especially, it's the colorway. The color scheme here is crazy. Black and green, it's mad, it's mad still. Oh, look, they have a little leg room as well. The leg zone, yeah, this is it, I can't lie. This is it still. Yeah, this is the bird eye view. Right, so. Already gonna munch. Uh, my favorite pre workout snack some calorie bars. Get carved up. Get ready for the deadlifts. We're aiming to go for 250 to try to get a PR at this uh, at dedicated super gym. But I'm still gobsmacked and just like shocked at how sick this gym is. Um, so I've asked a member how much they pay a month. Um, they said 80 pounds a month. And to be fair, when you think about it, that's actually very, very cheap for what they actually have in here in terms of like facility wise. I'm not sure if they have a swimming pool or a sauna, but for me personally, I don't care about that. I'm not here for the leisure, I'm here to train. Um, and I asked the member as well, what's the heaviest dumbbell? And he said 160 kg. So for me, it's like, bro, like obviously I will never use them, but it's like, think about it, 160kg dumbbell, and you're only paying 80 pounds a month. And then look, you've got like a lack of plates here, a lack of bars, a lack of whole setups, so like, you can't complain, man. Like for me, this is the best place I've ever been. And if I was, if I was to live around this area, I would definitely, definitely come to this gym, because you can make some serious, serious progress. But, um, so yeah, when we get to deadlifts, I'm gonna warm up nice and easy. So first on my bars, then warm up. And then we'll go from there. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe as well, man. Guys, get me to 300 subscribers. I'm at 250 subscribers right now. Um, I've, I've gone from London to Berm, from Berm to Liverpool, just for you guys, to show you guys the content, to hit PRs. So I would literally, I would, I would really appreciate it if you guys would show some support. Uh, and yeah, man, the overall goal is to get me to 1K subscribers. You know, I make this my, my full-time job, hopefully. Um, but it all comes down to you guys, so please support, show love, share it as well, always. And uh, I'm here to show you guys what I can do, so let's get it, baby. <laughs>
So, as you guys just saw just then, I attempted 220. And boy, oh boy, did I, did I feel a difference. Yeah, man, it's a joke, like. I genuinely struggled on 220, and obviously in pure gym, I don't struggle on 220. I can rep 220 for like five, six reps. These Elico plates, I don't know what they got inside them. It's definitely gonna be a real test today, like, it's not, it's not, it's not a joke, so. <sighs> Listen, man, if you're watching this, wish me luck, man, just wish me luck. If I get it, then I can actually deadlift 250. But yeah, man, that's what I'm saying, so if you wanna be a powerlifter as well, like myself, like I'm trying to be a powerlifter, I need to practice in a gym that has Elico plates and stuff. So these are all IPF standards, and this is what the actual plates and bars we're gonna use in the real competition, so. In pure gym, you've got all these like bendy bars, these flexible bars, that's why you can lift probably more weight. Here, it's a stiff bar. It's very hard to deadlift in. It's, you know, more difficult. It's much more difficult than the pure gym ones. But listen, man, enough of this chit chat. Let's get fucking back into it. I'm itching, my head's, I'm losing the shit. I'm itching, I'm itching, I'm itching. So, I'll see you guys at 240. Let's get it. If you guys can hear me, I'm currently in Nando's. Um, I didn't bring my camera with me, so I'm vlogging on my iPhone. The quality might vary between each clip in this video. Um, I'm starving. So the final result of Aston Villa versus Everett was 1 0 to Aston Villa. I, can't lie, I forgot who scored. Um, Courtney came on last, lost that like five minutes, which is unfair. So I want to see more game time from him. Um, but listen, we're still there to support. Um, but yeah, I'm starving, man. I've not had food since that. Since like last night from like 8 to 9 p.m. I'm starving. My breakfast was shit. That's why I couldn't even lift good. And now I'm literally waiting, man. I gymmed as well. I had no food after gym. Now we're in Nando's, waiting for a table. A table for two taking half an hour, so. Don't know if I even make it. But listen, if you guys got it here for the end of the video, make sure to subscribe, like, and share the video, please. Give me some fresh subscribers. Um, 
I'll try to drop this video out by Monday. Uh, yeah. See you guys when I'm back in London. Peace.